so at Arup, we've, we've done a lot of regeneration projects around the world and some of the most successful projects we've seen have been ones where we've tried to stimulate activity right at the beginning and, it's, and it develops and grows over time. So we've often seen how temporary uses and especially cultural uses can help kickstart this regeneration. We wanted to make the building accessible and we wanted to avoid creating an institution and make something that felt accessible so that as you came in you could experience the building, that you were aware of its heritage but you were aware of new things and you could feel your part in being able to contribute to, to that and being inspired by that. The building comes with a huge weight of, of history and heritage from the, uh, the recent closure of the Tetley Brewery. Leeds is full of people who worked here or who have connections to people and family members who worked here. You know, they might be third or fourth generation of their family to have worked here. So the stories around that are fantastic and they certainly add a lot to what the Tetley can do in terms of reaching audiences. And that interaction between contemporary art and heritage is something that we find really exciting. Um, and it's really intriguing to a lot of the artists we've been working with as well. I think we'd, we'd like to see this building establish itself as a real landmark for the new community that's starting to emerge on the South Bank. Um, and, you know, we might see this building standing alone in the centre of a city park one day, being a, a real focal point um, and a social hub for the community that, that's getting started here. If you go right back to uh, Carlsberg's heritage back in 1847, our founder, J.C. Jacobson, uh, was quite a philanthropist and he built the whole uh, ethos of the company around corporate social responsibility. So for us, developing the Tetley for the people of Leeds is just an extension of that work going right back to 1847. We always wanted to leave uh, a legacy in, in the uh, city of Leeds and we also wanted to, to leave an aspect of the, the brewing history that would have been such an important and iconic brand. Um, and working with Project Space Leeds and Arabs and the Arts Council, it really unlocked an opportunity for us to do so. We have a great artistic community in the city um, and we really wanted this place to sort of galvanise that creative community and, and, and be a hub um, and a meeting point for artists and audiences. The Tetley's been the third thing uh, opening in Leeds recently and we hope that it makes a really significant contribution in terms of cultural economy, uh, cultural tourism and so on. I'm very excited for, for this, this part of Leeds. Leeds South Bank, I believe, has got amazing potential. The High Speed 2 station arriving next door to, to where I stand now will bring a lot of visitors, a lot of business people to the city. The delivery of the city centre park and this, this building, this cultural building, is a great asset to the city. And over time, development will happen and this area will be a very vibrant and mixed place. And I'm very proud that this, having delivered this building is the first step on, on that journey to deliver that vision.